Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's drawing I decided I wanted to draw a wolf on a very small canvas. This is a two and a half by two and a half inch canvas. So starting off I made a base color of light blue. I originally thought that, that was going to be the color that I wanted this to be in but um, I decided I actually wanted it to be a bit more purple. So I went through and I added a nice light lilac color which I made by mixing red and blue and then I used white to dilute it. Next I took the pure red and blue mixture and I added it to the corners of this and blended it out to form a really cool vignette effect. Um, while you're working with this be very very careful not to overwork it because it's really really easy to make it so that you don't have that that gradual blend anymore. So just work really carefully and even take a break and step back and look at it. Um, if it dries out, I use watered down ver uh, version of the lilac color in order to kind of re-blend those two colors together and it really, really worked out. So after I was finished with the base coat, I went through and added my sketch of my wolf. I used reference photos that I found online for this. So going through, I decided that I just wanted to really block out all the colors first. So I went through with black in order to black out everything that needed to be black. So um, the nose and the really pretty corners of the eyes of the wolf. Since the details are so small in this painting, it's really, really easy to make mistakes. But the nice thing is, is with acrylics, it's rather easy to fix those mistakes. So just be patient and take your time, and if you make a mistake, don't worry, you can go over it with paint and then repaint it. So um, I made mistakes on his eyes several times, so I would go back through and I would white it out and then I'd go back and repaint it black. And that way I could get the proper shape that I was looking for. So now it's actually time to move on and I get to work on the wolf's fur. So. The fur is actually a lot of fun, and what I did for this was I used my liner brush, and um, I put paint on it, and I would get rid of as much of the paint as possible, and and then I'd um, flick the brush in the direction that the fur grows. So if you look at reference photos of wolves or dogs, you can see that that there's actually a um, a growth pattern of their fur. So go through and. Don't be afraid to look at reference photos. As you can see, I am now working on the fur on the side of his face. That grows almost directly straight out from his face. And the fur along his muzzle grows right up along his muzzle. So I would actually stroke and um, up his muzzle instead of down because that is actually the direction of the fur growth going through and adding a little extra detail. I actually went through and I've mostly used white so far that you can see, but I will actually switch between white and black paint. And sometimes I'll even allow them to mix together a little bit to form a nice gray. The gray will help uh, provide kind of a nat natural shadow effect, especially, like I said, when you're working this small, it's really, really hard to get some of those extra details that you would on a larger canvas. making sure that there is enough nice white areas. I also went through and um, touched up the details on his ears. I really like how um, a wolf or a dog with pointed ears, the hair grows on the inside of their ears. So I really wanted to be sure I got that effect. The, uh, the muzzle of this wolf was giving me a lot of problems. So I actually worked with um, the area right underneath his chin a lot to make sure that you could actually see the depth and dimension of his uh, muzzle. So in the end, I wound up just keep kept working on it. I went rather dark with the black and then went through and made it lighter and lighter and lighter until finally it actually had the correct shadow effect that I wanted. Adding a little extra detail. I really liked using a liner brush for the fur details because it allowed me to actually get a really nice flick to the brush which provided rather natural looking hair. 
I wanted to have the wolf have some contrast against the background, so in order to do that, I mixed together um, burnt sienna and yellow, and I really watered it down so it would become a glaze. And I painted that glaze all over the wolf's nose and fur on his chest. I decided not to put this over everything because I still wanted that nice contrast. I didn't want the wolf to look muddy, I just wanted the contrast. Also, when you're working with this, I still made sure that I worked in a um, flicking motion so that it would give the appearance of fur still. I really didn't want to lose the texture from the fur. I also took this time to add a little bit more shading right underneath the jaw of the wolf, and I used um, an undiluted version of the color that I used for the glaze. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked my video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!